I have been waiting for this moment just like you guys. Finally, we have a stable Lineage OS 16 Android 9 ROM for Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. This is August 31 build and it is pretty stable. In this video, I will tell you how to install this ROM and also give my review. Before we begin, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not rooted your phone, I have a video for that. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. You need to download 3 zip files. Number 1. The Lineage OS ROM. Number 2. G apps. I choose the micro version here which has basic Google apps. Number 3. Magisk zip file to gain root access. You will find all these links in the description. Then copy these files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone, then press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. When you are in TWRP recovery, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache and cache, then swipe to wipe. Now click on install, select the ROM zip file. Click on add more zip, select G apps, then again add more zip. Then select Majisk zip file, then swipe to flash. Installation is complete. Now let's reboot system. Remember, first boot will take some time, so you need to be patient. First boot is complete. Let's finish the setup process. At the end, you need to select your default launcher. You have Pixel Launcher and Trebuchet Launcher pre installed. You have to choose Trebuchet Launcher because Pixel Launcher here does not work. Just in case if you choose Pixel Launcher, it keeps crashing like this and you get stuck. In that case, you go to Settings, Apps and Notifications, Default Apps, click on Home App and choose Trebuchet and you are fine. I have been using this ROM from past 2 days. I have not seen any bugs. Calls SMS working, Camera is working. Bluetooth is working, Hotspot is working,
LT is working. Wi-Fi is working. Fingerprint scanner is working. Fast charging and wireless charging are working. Root is also working fine. Unfortunately, I cannot show you all the basic stuff which are working, but I can say this ROM is definitely a daily driver. I get lots of questions from you guys about VoLT. You need to understand VoLT is not supported in any of AOSP ROMs, so you will miss VoLT in this ROM also. Now let's see the features Lineage OS offers. Going to settings. System. Going to language and input, we have multi-language support and keyboard settings. In buttons menu, you can change navigation buttons layout. Assign more functions to single press, double press and long press power and volume keys. In System Profiles menu, you can set different settings for default and silent mode. Or you can create your own custom profile. In Status Bar menu, you have Quick Pull Down which lets you expand control panel with one swipe. You can enable Network Monitor which shows Wi-Fi and LTE network speed. You can enable and disable icons in control panel. You can change battery icon and style. You can also adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. In gestures menu, you have a camera shortcut for pressing the power button twice. And then you have swipe on home button to see recent apps just like in pixel phones. I prefer this navigation layout because you can slide through all recent apps and also switch between two recent apps easily with one quick swipe. Then you have date time settings. Auto backup your personal data to your Google Drive. Then you have some factory reset options. Multi user support. And ROM information. I should also tell you guys the default always on screen works great. It displays all the app notifications on your screen before you unlock your phone. When you rotate your phone in portrait mode, this little icon lets you rotate only the current app in landscape mode. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not. I will see you in the next one. Until next time, take care.